After my speech, uh, Mr. Hassan Akbal will take the floor, and I would like to give him maximum time. Uh, my basic uh, submission is that uh, we now understand what is CPAC. We it's no more just confined to newspapers or MOUs and agreements we can see in the daylight, broad daylight, how it is creating the infrastructure. We can see the growth of infrastructure and we can see now completion of infrastructure projects and we can see how these infrastructure projects are making an impact in Pakistan. So this is now a reality that is past us pretty much and we are also amazed by the speed by the momentum and by the commitment of the partners and collaborators in CPAC in the form of the government of China and Pakistan as well as the large number of companies that are involved in it in various projects from north to south and the large number of management professionals, engineers, laborers who are all working day and night for the completion of the project. So we can see the alignment, the coherence, and their ability to complete the projects on time and to be to remain on target despite many different and kinds of uncertainties, turbulence, and complexity, and changes that have come about during the last, since CPAC projects have started. So the challenge, what's the challenge now? The, the, the most urgent challenge for us who are part of academia. I think the challenge for us is that because of the movements through the infrastructure projects that are, that are going to be realized, and because of the increasing opportunities of collaboration and interaction with the world players like China and other countries of the world and, in a, and the whole ambit that is part of CPAC, which is spreads over, directly is spread over uh, about 60, 70 countries, and is almost related to the whole world, the business of the world. So what I see, what I foresee, is that there is going to be great change in the business model. There is going to be a change, a tremendous change and alteration in the management model. There is going to be tremendous change in how we think about business in Pakistan. There is going to be tremendous change in the critical success factors, the list of critical success factors, how to succeed and how to negotiate with the risks and threats and how to make space and how to win the opportunities, how to seize the opportunities and how to mitigate the risk. There is going to be reconfiguration of opportunities and risks. This reconfiguration is not just about interacting with Chinese. It is, this reconfiguration is about the change in the whole nature of products and services in which, as a Pakistani nation, our business houses, our corporations, our SME sector, our large-scale national companies and multinationals within Pakistan are currently consumed in, absorbed in and engaged in. So I see a sea change, I see a tectonic change, I see a, a change that we haven't seen 
in our life and if we are not aware of it and if we are not alert of it and if we are not alive to that those changes in the present times then we will not be able to capture infrastructure will be there but we will be failing behind and we will not be able to capitalize and leverage that those dollars and those infrastructure projects the way we can we could and if we will not capitalize and if we will be weak so i fear that there will be others who will take up this opportunity and in the process they will consume whatever cpac has to offer and pakistan pakistani companies pakistani management pakistani business owners will be increasingly left behind so here is a challenge of speed here is a challenge of reorientation here is a challenge of reengineering here is a challenge of thinking radically phenomenally substantially different and here is a ch challenge of thinking out of the box and here is a challenge that must be taken up by every in every board room by every chairperson of the board by every member of the board and also by those who are involved in their career who are in the middle level management who have just started their career and who are looking forward to a great future so the changes that are coming about also requires that we bring about a dramatic dramatic changes in business education and this was a subject issue in the last conference that was held in karachi of all the deans and directors of business schools that our textbooks teach us a model talk about a model which is based upon nation national boundaries and looking at globalization as an enhanced opportunity here is something where globalization has seen is it is coming about as an embedded it's really the picture of village that we are going to see and that we are going to live in so i feel that business education has a great challenge and i like to draw the attention of all educators in fact those who are concerned with schools those who are in colleges those who are in universities and in all areas engineering management social sciences physical sciences that we must come up with our response and we must be work out our strategies we must reconfigure redesign reformulate everything with this submission i would like to beg leave and i hope that our educators will join hands with educators of china and other countries and all those 70 countries and will help us develop a new curriculum will help us develop a new model for business leadership a new model for management a new model for business success and then we will be able to leverage and capitalize the tremendous opportunities that no one can probably and perhaps can actually uh, figure out now we have to live with this increasing uncertainties increasing avenues and increasing you know uh, op uh, opportunities day and night and must be adapt and alert and do our best to capitalize upon them before anyone else could thank you very much